key principle for me on more consistent, faster runs is to be smooth and correct. With Paige, I used to always get joked that I wasn't running fast enough from the gate or I'd go in and make a circle when I first started her out, when I could, when I was paturting, because I knew that she needed to be correct to be fast. And in the long run, it paid off because she goes out and makes the same run for me every single time, and it is correct and it is smooth. For me, the faster, more consistent runs come in the practice pen. I don't necessarily make fast runs in the practice pen, but I make my turns and everything perfect. Um, my straight lines, I always try to have some shape going to a barrel, but for me, it's, it starts in the practice pen. And then going to rodeos and competing against the best, that's when you get your timing and you learn to step up and be more competitive that way. So I would say the million dollar question in barrel racing is how do you get a faster run? And you know, there's so many different uh, ways that you can train a horse and um, try to speed your run up. But honestly, sometimes I think smooth is faster. And uh, sometimes my horses, if I back them off and go three quarters speed, I am faster than if I just go in there and, and ask them for 100 10% because sometimes you know maybe the ground might not be able to hold them or they're young and they don't know where their feet are and so sometimes I try to be really smooth and, and maybe back them off just a little bit to get that fast time. The biggest mistake that I see at the pro level for me that I've, that I've witnessed is overthinking the process. I think that we are own, our own worst enemy and sometimes that we overthink everything. Um, over happy to get in the arena. If I don't get in the arena, I'm not going to be able to make a run. But it's still the same three barrels we've ran over and over and over again. And if you just go in there and be confident and put that trust in your horse, it's still the same three barrels. For me, I think the common mistake a lot of times is not getting in the practice pen. When we have the opportunities to get in an arena and to work our horses, yes, I know I've been there. You know, you, you get going and you think you're focusing on, okay, I need the rest. But it's taking the time when you've had like a bad run, just going and doing some little things in the practice pen will kind of keep that momentum going. I think a common mistake that I make myself being out here on the road and, and trying to be as competitive as you can uh, is the mental game. And you know, not letting the bad runs get you down and being able to keep your confidence and your horse's confidence and know that you gotta go to the next one and it's just part of it and you fix what the problem is, hopefully, and, and go on to the next one. But uh, staying mentally strong is, is sometimes tough on the road. Um, probably the one thing I see about novices the most is they're concerned about speed. Um, take my daughter, for instance. Her mare is very, very fast, and so she likes to play with the speed, but over and over again, we've proven to her that the slower, is more correct. She'll go out and she'll clock a half a second faster by being slow and correct. So speed's not everything when it comes to it. I think novice riders focus too much on, they get so nervous and they don't focus on what the, the littler things. They wanna, they wanna run fast and they wanna look good and be, and be very consistent. But I think they need to focus more on what they need to do with their horse at that time. I'm a pretty detailed person when it comes to uh, barrel racing and I tend to overthink uh, barrel racing and you know you can analyze it till you're blue in the face and uh, but at the end of the day it still is you've got to go around three barrels as fast as you can and um, you know I, I feel that sometimes if you're starting out you may um, feel kind of you know overwhelmed with everything that you're learning and the knowledge that you're learning and trying to fix uh, become a better rider and get your horse better and you may overthink things and you just kind of have to step back and be like okay keep it simple and let's work on the basics and we'll improve from there.